Hi there, everybody. I hope you're doing well. I wanted to talk about a small feature that I think is going to be really helpful for folks who facilitate education sessions, but also may facilitate um, a office hours or an ask the experts type of a session. Maybe you own a community for support type purposes and you host some regular uh, type of a meeting where people can come together and ask their questions. That feature is uh, the ability to enable or disable the meeting chat within your Microsoft Teams meeting. And the use case is pretty obvious for uh, educators especially. Maybe you have an unruly classroom or you want to control it so that only um, the meeting chat is enabled whenever the teacher is available. But one use case in the enterprise is having office hours. And um, if you're like me, I have a community that is in Yammer. We have a Yammer community, probably 35, 3,600 people um, that supports all of Office 365 for Cerner. And we do live events on our Yammer group, and that's a great for like a one-to-many conversation. Maybe you want a moderated Q&A or you want the question and answers to be um, in the Yammer chat. Well, what we're looking to do starting in February is a Ask the Experts once a month Teams meeting where we can put that out there. Here's the link to the Teams meeting. Any of those 3,000 people can join that meeting at the specified time. And then you'll have members of my team, members of our workforce adoption team um, available on, in the meeting to answer questions, do demos, do troubleshooting, things like that. So one of the challenges we have though is whenever we teach a class or whenever we do some type of a session like this, we may end up with the chat kind of living on beyond what we want it to. Since we communicate and we collaborate around Yammer for our community, we don't want people to stay in that Ask the Experts meeting chat and continue asking questions or continue making comments about what was discussed. We want to be able to turn that off. So this new feature within Microsoft Teams allows you to control that a little bit better from the organizer perspective. So to demo this functionality, we're going to set this up as if I would run an Ask the Experts session. I'm here in Windows 10 on Megan's computer. If I open up her calendar, she has created this Ask the Experts February 2021 meeting. And she can grab the link to that meeting, go post it in Yammer, and invite her entire community to come ask questions of the experts. Now, this may get fairly large. This may be a pretty chatty conversation. So we want to go in and control the meeting options to have a more uh, structured meeting. So she's gonna open up this, um, this meeting by expanding it, and you'll see the meeting options in the upper corner of the toolbar right here. So click on meeting options. That opens up a web page where she can adjust the meeting options before the meeting ever starts. So she can control the lobby. By default, ours is set to everyone, so anybody can come in at any time. If you want this to be more structured, what you may do is you may want to say, I'm the only one who can bypass the lobby. So you can get in, you can kind of collect yourself, get your presenters added to the meeting, and then you can admit people as they come in. I think for this, we're gonna just leave this set to everybody. It's gonna be open office hours as if we had the physical door in the room open. So everybody can come in. Um, I do not want to announce when callers leave or join. That can be pretty annoying. Anyone can present. I don't think I want to do that. I think if somebody has a question and they want me to demonstrate something, I'll switch that to only me. Or if I had like members of my team, I could sp select specific people. Um, so we're going to start out with just only me, and then I can bump somebody up to presenter if I need them to show their screen to explain some trouble they're having. Um, I do want them to unmute themselves. They can come in and, and ask a question right away. And then this meeting chat right here. This is the new feature that just came out this week. And I can choose between enabling the meeting chat, that's the normal behavior of Microsoft Teams. I can disable the meeting chat so there's no chat at all. Or I can say when, when you're in the meeting, when the meeting is running, then the meeting chat is available to everyone. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this enabled for, for now. And then I'll show you what I would do at the end of the meeting to uh, disable that, that meeting chat right there. So we leave it enabled and we hit save. And now this meeting is set up. We're gonna go ahead and join this meeting and get set up with the, uh, the meeting chat. <clears throat> so I'm gonna join this meeting here, minimize this other thing. 
And Megan is now sitting here waiting for people to join her meeting. Fast forward a little bit and uh, John has joined this meeting. He's the first person to come in and uh, ask a question of Megan. She can share her screen. She can ask the person to share their screen. We can have a troubleshooting session, pass control back and forth. But the meeting chat works just as a normal meeting chat would. So I can open up the chat and I can say, hey there, John. And that comes through over on John's computer. We'll open that up and he sees a message from Megan. I can answer that back, say, hey there, Megan. We can have a conversation back and forth. So what if during the course of the meeting, if it starts to get a little bit unruly or I want people to focus in on a specific topic within the meeting, as Megan, the organizer, she can click the more actions or the ellipses, dot, 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 click on that and hit meeting options. Now she has the same controls that you had back on that website if you opened it up from the calendar. So with a simple click, she can drop this down and disable the meeting chat on the fly. Now if you go into the meeting chat, it's turned off for this particular meeting. From John's perspective as one of the attendees, he sees this chat is turned off for the meeting and he can no longer click in and type anything into the chat. That may not be very useful for um, an ask the experts type of a session. What would be useful is to select the in meeting only. So if I save that, click in meeting only, and then go back to the chat, you'll see that this leaves a little message for me that says, hey, the chat has been turned on for the duration of the meeting. So Megan, I'm the one running the show. I'm doing my Ask the Experts. People are coming in, they're leaving, they're raising their hands, doing all of that great stuff. What if we come to the natural conclusion and I want to point everybody over to the Yammer site rather than having them use the meeting chat after the fact? So I've set this to only when the meeting is going on is the chat enabled. Now, the way that I can turn off the chat for everybody is to kick them out of the meeting. So if I go ahead and drop this down, I can hit end meeting and that will close my meeting out, but it will also disconnect the meeting for everybody else on the call, thus disabling the chat. Before I do that though, I want to set a couple other options. So in here for the meeting options, we've got this set to in meeting only. I also want to say I'm the only one who can bypass the lobby. So I don't want somebody to get back into the meeting later on. So I'm going to turn on the lobby and then just ignore if somebody opens up the meeting after I'm not in there anymore. So we've enforced the lobby. We have the meeting chat available in the lobby only. The last thing I would do if you're facilitating a, um, an office hours or an ask the expert session is go ahead and pre-craft a message here. I've got one here that says, thank you for attending our Ask the Expert session. If you have any more questions, feel free to continue that over on our Yammer community. And then I linked to that specific Yammer community. That should be the last thing in the chat. That way, if somebody goes to the meeting chat later on, oh, I'm just gonna ask a quick question, the chat will be disabled for them and they'll have that message at the very bottom, right, where they're gonna type their message they'll have the disclaimer that says, hey, we're talking over in Yammer now, come join us. So I'm gonna copy that, and then I'm gonna paste that into the meeting chat right here. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna hit Control K to bring up the, uh, the link option. And we're gonna paste that link in and hit insert. And then now I'm linking to that Yammer community. I click send, and that is the last message that comes through. So over on John's computer, he sees, close this out. He says, Megan say, thank you for attending. We're gonna close this thing out. Come join us on Yammer. And he could start typing right now, but what Megan should do right after she pastes that, that message in is click here and click end meeting. Click end. Over here on John's computer, the meeting has ended for him. He got kicked out of the call. He can rate that meeting. And then when he goes back into Teams, in his chat, he's got the Ask the Experts session. And he's got the thank you for attending but he no longer, chat is only available during the meeting, he no longer has the ability to go in and ask a follow-up question. He has to go over to Yammer to ask his question. So that's a way that you don't, you know, split your team's attention into all these various team's threads. If he goes and tries to join that meeting, he can hit join now, and because Megan enforced the lobby, 
he gets stuck in the lobby. So you've effectively, you know, locked out the meeting for everybody um, to not be able to join anymore. There's gonna be, you know, a lot of information out there about like how educators will use this. They can turn the meeting uh, chat on and off on the fly. But in an enterprise environment, we typically would, would probably leave the chat on, just leave it enabled, be fully collaborative. But there's some scenarios where you may want to um, enforce the meeting chat while the meeting is going on only. And I hope that this kind of gives you some ideas about how you can have a little bit more structure around your office hours or your Ask the Expert session um, so that you don't get bogged down with a whole bunch of uh, meeting chats from, from people who are in a meeting when you want to organize them all in a Yammer community instead. I hope that helps out. Let me know if you have any questions or any other ideas that you have for using this meeting chat moderation feature. And um, I'll see you in the comments. Thanks for watching.